Yo, <laughs> y'all already know what it is. Chapter 1003. Let's get right into it. One Piece. Oh, oh my goodness. Another amazing chapter of One Piece. And I swear, like, since 998 till now, it's just been back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Just like, hey, when I'm I'm wondering when is the quality gonna dip? When is the chapter gonna come out and we're just like, oh dang, this is bad considering what we've been getting for the past like you know couple of weeks. But anyhow, let's let, let's just get right into the chapter, bro. Um, another chapter just dedicated to the roof for the most part. Um, saw a lot of fighting. Now. There are definitely key moments that I just want to get my initial thoughts on while they're still fresh. So, um, Gear Forth, Luffy, like, yo, when I was, when I was live reacting, I'm like, hold on, hold on a second, hold on. The fight just started. And how loosely Luffy was using Gear Forth leading up to the fight on the roof. I'm thinking, okay, like my boy's rocking this or rocking, rocking gear forth like this because the Rio training has um, improved his efficiency with armament hockey. So he's not going to be expending all of his hockey as he did. But I mean, it's like, dude, it's, it's, it's already happened. So now for the next for for the next couple of chapters you know we'll we'll get into that we'll get into that um the zoro bit i want to wait till the official translations come out um specifically about uh what is it where 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 does where does uh where does it so okay here it's right when zoro does the you know the the dragon twister okay after um he uh after kaido used his original dragon twister so uh right now kaido says so the sword is the source of that strange hockey um and then he says yes that stinging sensation i get it now so it's odin's sword now i just want to wait until the official translations come out just to see exactly what kaido says because some things could be missed um but i don't want to go too deep into that uh i'll i'll specifically talk about that section of the chapter um whenever the officials come out um you know so on sunday tune in or subscribe like all that good stuff if you want to uh, if you want to see that video or if you want to see me talk about that going forward. But Zoro, nonetheless, Zoro cut Kaido this chapter. I hope that all of the banter stops as far as if Zoro can do it or not. Um, I mean, but it probably won't considering before Zoro even got to the roof. Um, you know, he wasn't supposed to be there and he wasn't as strong as a commander. So, you know, I've heard it all. I've heard it all. Now uh law damaged big mom we all saw that um what i'm gonna say about kid and killer right is so we we lead off with kaido going hybrid right kaido goes hybrid and that's where the chapter ends luffy's down for the count so there's four people up now i i thought that it was interesting that we saw the rest of the um what the rest of onigashima what's going on and the war we saw the rest of that through the eyes of cp0 okay now before i talk about cp0 right um what i want to talk about is we'll probably fade away from the roof to briefly see like hybrid transformations right and then i think that we will go back to the roof because like i said i think the act is going to end within the next couple of chapters so maybe the act ends with kaido decimating everyone or seemingly decimating everyone we go off to the intermission chapters and then when we come back we wrap up the fights in the lower level 
and then we go back to the roof because i'm assuming that after the fights are wrapped up on the lower level some of those people or some of those combatants will go to the higher level right um and now speaking about sanji okay um i hope that sanji has some type of interaction with cp0 because i think that it is a big missed opportunity that sanji does not have more than one rukushiki style technique now if you would have asked me 10 years ago post time or yes uh coming out of the time skip what is your ideal scenario scenario for sanji and my old self would tell you um hey just let him come out with uh three rukushiki style techniques that's good enough for me i think that is i think that is pretty fair three rokushiki style techniques and then he learns or masters the other three as he progresses through the new world i think that that would have been perfect so i hope sanji fights a commander and then he goes on to fight a member of cp0 um you know he gets back into that mr prince mode um maybe stop cp0 from doing something i don't know right uh so kaido hybrid amazing zoro's the mvp of the chapter uh i like that he was recognized yet again the sword the sword is recognized and people are gonna say oh well that's the downplay zoro or like it's we're, we're, we're talking about the sword versus actually talking about zoro and i agree that zoro is definitely gonna have to make a name for himself like with kaido in this fight i think that zoro shimotsuki lineage will you know um will be thrown out onto the table because of this fight um i don't know how exactly that's gonna come into play i want to say maybe gukimaru or something but you know that's that's way 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 ahead the point and, and that i was trying to make is that i need zoro to or i need kaido to acknowledge zoro oh we'll never see a strong samurai like odin again or we'll never see a monster samurai like odin again and now we have one zoro right here in your face i just hope that um as the battle goes on that kaido uh is talking less about enma and more about zoro that's just where i'm at with that uh like i said i'll go more in depth with that on uh on sunday it's gonna be toxic so you know i'm not even gonna try to give my spin on it i'll just wait for the officials and then we'll talk about it there so now the cp0 stuff right the cp0 stuff um i got I, I want you guys to go and check out a video that i put out it is titled two yonko defeated and wano big mom one piece discussion now in that i talk about cp zero's presence being back in wano i think that everyone will be a part of wano uh marine supernova yonko world government slash cp zero the only faction that i think won't be in wano is the reverie but that could very well turn out true as well that the rever or that some members of the revolutionary could pop up uh maybe as a result of whatever happened at the reverie but anyways um we're getting away or we're getting away from that so cp0 pretty much is there they're giving us what's going on in the fight what's happening and they pretty much confirm that they want the pirates to destroy each other and then they're going to intervene now i don't know if that's calling the marines in i don't know if that's doing something of their own will what i'm gonna say is that that's doing something of their own will because that goes in line with my big mom theory so if you guys want to see that just go check it out um posted on my channel about a week ago about a week ago a week ago but uh oh one more thing orochi orochi 
we saw his head, but we did not see his body. Orochi is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Just wait on it. CP0, the first thing that they said was something about Orochi. Orochi is still alive. He's still there. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about the chapter. Let me know down in the comment section below. Were you guys excited to see CP0? And what do you think is going to be their role going forward in the series? And do you think other factions will come to Wano as well? Um, but that's all I got for you guys, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the discussion and the chapter as well. I am going to peace out. I'm gonna go work on some other stuff. Um, be looking, be on the lookout for the next videos, you guys. I'm out. Peace.